Vitesse has really worked in this field for the last almost five years. And so we've actually worked with OEMs, with base station vendors, with switch router vendors to achieve these performances that are now being ratified in the ITU, so 50 nanosecond and 20 nanosecond time accuracy um, for quite a while. And uh, um, what is required to achieve that is that actually on the port level, at the file level, you need to actually perform what's called distributed timestamping. So traditionally timestamping in today's switches and routers is usually done in a centralized way or on, an, on a per line card basis. In order to achieve the new class A, class B um, time errors, you actually have to perform the timestamping right at the physical layer, right when you enter the switch and router on the port level. And uh, that solution, which is also called distributed timestamping, is what Vitesse is, is supplying to the market for our gigabit Ethernet FIs, for our 10 gigabit FIs, for our 10 gigabit and gigabit FIs with security, um, all within very, very high timing accuracy. And there's actually, the, it's not just the timestamping, there's many, many other aspects of the solution that are required to make that work. There's changes to the uh, 1588 PTP stack required. There's changes to the servo required to make that work. So it's an overall system solutions. But from a hardware perspective, the only thing that switch and router vendors need to do to meet these classes is actually use the Vitesse FIs instead of what they have today and run our PTP stack and, and our protocol. Uh, on their timing and control cards, and that's the extent of the changes that are required. And uh, Vitesse can guarantee that any switch router vendor using our FIs can meet these timing classes today. Uh, we've actually demonstrated um, and submitted that to the I ITU um, over the last year and year or two. Uh, we've shown results where we actually achieved 20 nanosecond accuracy over 10 hops. So not just on a network by network basis, um, we could achieve 20, but over multiple hops in a backhaul network, we can actually get to those sort of um, uh, maximum time error classes uh, very, very easily. And all by just using the test fly solutions together with the corresponding software changes.